Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, your Deatho one here, back with another video. This time, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all 30 BSAA emblems in Resident Evil 5. Uh, I do have a, a guide, because seeing as I've already ha uh, have guides on how to get infinite ammo and how to get all weapons in the game, I figured I might as well make a BSAA emblem one. Uh, and if you guys want to see an all treasures, just check out my speed run. Anyways, let's get right into it here. So to start off, uh, you can get three in chapter one, two. That's three emblems. Uh, in chapter two, one, you can get five total emblems. Chapter two, two, you can get three total emblems. Uh, chapter three, one, you can get four total emblems. Chapter three, two, you can get two total emblems. Chapter three, three, you can get one total emblem. Chapter four, one, you can get three total emblems. Chapter four, two, you can get one total emblem. Chapter 5, 1, the same, only one emblem. Uh, and then Chapter 5, 2, again, the same, only one emblem. Uh, and then finally, Chapter 5, 3, you can get three emblems. And then Chapter 6, 1, you can get three emblems. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the video so you guys can see how to get all of them. Okay, so starting off in Chapter 1, 2 here, as you can see, um, you're going to come to an area where you'll find this guy. who will kind of sneak up on you and there will be another guy around this corner here. So you actually have to go into this building right here. The only door that works is this one on the bottom under the stairs. So just open that, go through that door right there. Head up these stairs right here and go out onto this balcony right in front of you. And if you turn to your right, look down at the building right across there, you will see the very first emblem of the game. Now the second emblem, still in chapter 1-2 here, you're going to come to an area where you'll, you'll find this guy, this guy just drops in front of you, and you'll have to climb this ladder where all these crows are to advance in the, in the game. So you're going to climb this ladder, you're going to keep walking along this path, and right in this spotlight here, you're going to stop, look to your left, look up, and on this uh, we, uh, water barrel thing up there will be your second emblem. Now moving on in chapter 1-2, right near the end of the level, you come to this area after you fight the boss, and there will be this case full of uh, handgun ammo, and instead of continuing to the elevator, you stop, look to your right, and near the fans in the distance there is the third emblem of the playthrough. Now moving on to chapter 2-1, right at the beginning, as you can see, we even have the dialogue, and it says chapter 2-1. You'll see there's this gun on the tire there. Just look to your right, and you'll see the fourth emblem of the playthrough. Now the fifth emblem, still chapter 2-1 here. You're going to cross a bridge where there's this uh, truck that comes at you and a whole bunch of guys. Once you pass that bridge, you'll come to these stairs, and just on the pillars holding up the bridge is that emblem right there. Now for the sixth emblem, still chapter 2-1, you are going to come to an area where there's this nice view, this ocean, and you're going to walk up this path here. But instead of con continuing, just stop, turn to your right, and in this sort of uh, porta potty there will is the sixth emblem. Now the seventh emblem still in the same area just after you get the key to unlock the gate there. And you come to this area, there'll be a bunch of guys throwing Molotovs and rocket launchers and you get help from Kirk. Climb that ladder up on top of this building and in that building over there to the right is that seventh emblem. Now the eighth emblem here, uh, still chapter 2-1, just a little bit further. You'll have to come up to this area where there is a partner assist uh, where you got to throw Sheva across. Uh, instead of throwing her across, you just want to turn around real quick. Uh, and up to your right there, as you can see in a second, is the eighth emblem. So go ahead and shoot that. Now, chapter 2-2, two, two, right at the beginning uh, for the ninth emblem, you kick open this door like a boss. You're going to run, and instead of continuing down the path of trains, you just want to stop and do a quick 180. And then up on the sort of telephone poles right over there is the ninth emblem. Now for the 10th emblem, still chapter 2-2, two, two, you're going to come to an area where you're crossing this bridge with Sheva. And you will see to your right there, glowing in the distance in the dark, is the 10th emblem. Now still chapter 2-2, two, two, after you've had the cutscene with Irving, you're going to come to a part where you've got to climb this really long ladder. The first ladder you have to climb. Instead of continuing to the path to the right, you want to turn to your left. And on top of the building over there where Irving was, you will see the emblem. Now in chapter 3-1, emblem 12, uh, from spawn, instead of going over to grab the slate, well, you gotta grab the slate anyways, but instead of going over there on solo, it's easiest just to shoot it from spawn here. So you can see way in the distance on that pole over there is the emblem shining. Way easier with a sniper, so make sure you have a sniper. So go ahead and snipe that. Now for the 13th emblem here, as you can see, we are at the chicken coop. You can see it glowing underneath the coop there. 
Uh, if you're playing co-op, again, Marshlands 3-1 is easiest co-op because you can have your partner shoot them. But if you're playing solo, you have to actually do it yourself. You can't shoot it while you're on the, on the craft there. So you're going to have to get out, and you're going to come onto the island here. You will see the emblem is under there. You can't... I don't think you can see it from this angle. So the only way to really get it is with a grenade or a gr uh, rocket launcher or some, which is what I use here. So I just go ahead and throw a grenade or shoot a rocket launcher, and there's the emblem. Now for the 14th emblem, uh, as you can see, we're in the very top left corner of the map, the northwest corner of the map. Uh, you're going to come to this little area, and as soon as you walk up these stairs, you will see right there, shining, is the 14th BSAA emblem. Now for the 15th BSAA emblem, uh, once you've put in all four slates in the door, as soon as you pass through the door, you're going to jump down to this water. Instead of continuing down the path, turn around underneath the spawn area is the 15th emblem. I kind of failed that shot there. Um, now in Chapter 3-2, um, you'll come to an area where there's these tents. You'll get that cutscene for tricell um, before the oil field. So you're going to want to come through the first tent. Turn to your left and turn to your left again. Between the two tents on the ground, there is the 16th emblem. Now, for the 17th emblem, still chapter 3 2, you're going to come to a part where you got this timer. Instead of going forwards into all those enemies, you're going to want to turn around, kick open this door, and there will be the emblem on the wall. Now, the 18th emblem, as you can see, at the very first gate you pass in chapter 3 3, you will see the emblem just sitting there perched on the bottom of that platform. Now, chapter 4 1. Uh, for the 19th emblem here, you'll see you'll spawn in after you dock the boat and you come down the path. You'll see this ladder. You have to climb this ladder to advance in the story. You'll see this uh, this other crawler guy will spawn in front of you. Instead of crossing this bridge, you're gonna want to turn to your right about halfway through, and just down there in the sort of uh, cave there is the 19th emblem. Kind of failed in shooting here. Let's pull out that sniper. Now, for the 20th emblem in Chapter 4-1, you will come to this area where you get dropped down and you'll be in this sort of cross section, this plus section. Uh, you have to continue forward. And you can see already shining in the distance over there is the 20th emblem. Go ahead and grab your weapon and just uh, give that a pop. Now, still Chapter 4-1, Emblem 21. After you have this cutscene of running through this hallway, uh, the quick time event, you'll come down these stairs here after you pull those chains. And in this huge room... As soon as you come down the stair stop, turn to your left, look up a little bit, and there will be the 21th emblem just on the broken wall up over there. So make sure you shoot that. Now, moving on to chapter 4-2, you'll come to the third section of this uh, puzzle area with the light beams. You'll see to your left where the skull is, you'll see this open door. This is where the emblem is. You're going to want to come into this room. You'll know it because it has that hanging body that's spiked with uh, spears. Just do a quick 180. Look up and above the doorway is the 22nd emblem. Now, chapter 5-1, right at the very beginning, easiest emblem to ever get, number 23. Just run to your right from spawn and underneath the bridge you have to go across to advance in this level is just sitting right there is the emblem so go ahead and shoot that now moving on to chapter 5 2 the 24th emblem after this long conveyor belt uh, you're gonna come down these stairs and to your right will be a machine gun I believe it's the sig 556 machine gun right there but instead of grabbing that go to this dumpster first yes right here this dumpster and inside that dumpster you can see the emblem right there so go ahead and give that a shot, or two, or seven. Miss like me. <laughs> now moving on to chapter 5-3. Right at the very beginning, after you fight, fought the next version of Uruburos, uh, you're going to come through this door right here, and you have to climb the ladder normally. But instead of climbing the ladder first, in these fans is the 25th emblem. No, now for the 26th emblem here uh, in chapter 5-3, you'll see that the, the first platform that stops you, there's these three guys here. This is the first time you get stopped on the elevator. The emblem is actually over there on the ground. Um, okay, I kind of missed the rocket there. But you'll see it flashing in a second. Um, I don't know how I'm missing this rocket. You'll see. You can see it flashing right there in the distance. Um, but yeah, that's where the emblem is. That's the 26th emblem. So go ahead and shoot that. It might be easier to shoot it when you're a little bit higher. But I just use a rocket. Now, still chapter 5-3 here. Uh, for Emblem 27, you're going to come to a point where you got to drop down this bridge and you got to send Sheva up and elevator stuff. Make sure you grab that Topaz Brilliant, the only spot you can get it in the game. Um, and normally you have to take this elevator up, 
But before you call the elevator, um, you want to come over here and come around to the other side of the elevator here. And just in the bottom there, you can see the emblem perch there on the on the wall. Just shoot that. Now, chapter 6, one, emblem 28. As soon as you spawn, just do a quick 180 turn or 90 turn, sorry. And way in the distance, you need a sniper for this. You can see shining way at the top of that sail or whatever that is over there is the 28th emblem. Now, for the 29th emblem, you're going to come to a point where this container drops on top of Sheva. You can actually uh, stop it from dropping by killing the guy in the crane, but I didn't, just so you guys can actually see a reference point. Uh, and in this, in, and you can see Sheva right there, in the container to the left when you're facing Sheva is actually the emblem. So go ahead and throw a grenade or shoot a rocket in there. Now, for the 30th and final emblem in Chapter 6-1, you just you're gonna spawn. You're gonna have a cutscene with um, that lady. I forget her name. Uh, and just here, right up there in that sort of cupboard, is the final emblem. So yeah, that's the end to my guide. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy. Um, if you all, if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, make sure you share it with your friends and also check out some of my other guides like for Resident Evil 5 I have, I have two more guides, so that's one for how to get all weapons and that I also have one for how to get infinite ammo. Um, if you guys want to see an all treasures guide, uh, I will make it, but otherwise you can just check out my, uh, 100% playthrough of Resident Evil 5. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my friend's channels. The links will always be in the description below. Keep it real, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.